only on two, a national icon saving America's pastime right here in Tulsa. Back in 1977, Roy Clark helped bring the drillers to Tulsa when the game almost left town. I think it went beyond business. I think it was a love affair that he had with Tulsa and with baseball. So tonight, Two Works For You reporter Chris Maria sits down with those who knew him and still share his love for the game. Gee whiz, this was my heritage, my youth, everything was getting taken away from me, and it was devastating. In 1976, A. Ray Smith took the Tulsa Oilers out of state because of poor business and an old stadium. The move threatened to end baseball in Tulsa until Bill Rawlings and country music icon Roy Clark stepped in. Those are the two men that really saved baseball for Tulsa. Just before the spring of 1977, the two-year-old Lafayette drillers were brought to town. That was the first time Gary Griffith bought Tulsa drillers season tickets. He's had them ever since. Roy is part of what you see today because uh, had it not been for him and his vision, uh, who knows where we would be, whether we would even have baseball. They say it was Roy's love for the game that helped revitalize baseball in Tulsa because when he took over, the stadium was becoming about as empty as it is right now. He actually tried out in the early 1950s for the St. Louis Browns. If the Browns would have signed them, we might have lost one of our greatest uh, music stars ever if he'd have played for the St. Louis Browns. Both Griffith and baseball historian Wayne McCombs remember Roy Clark fondly for his love of baseball and his care for others. He was a big star. You would never know it to talk to him. Just a genuinely nice, decent man. And they thank him for sharing his gift and his love for the game. I thank him, as all Tolson should thank him, and uh, we remember him not only for the type of person he was, but for saving my love, which was baseball. In Tulsa, Christy Maria, Two Works For You.